Hello, friends, and welcome. It is Tuesday night. That means it's time to roll with Ruel. It's Rolling with Ruel, uh, sponsored by Robinsberger. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and this is my co-host, my wife, Michelle. Hello, welcome. Good to see y'all here. I'm going to scoot this way, give you a little more room. Okay, Bruno is... And Bruno's right here. here. <laughs> see, Slackfish in the house. Uh, board Game Feast is here. Uh, Toro's in the house. Hey, Toro. Uh, Herb's Gambit. Hello. Welcome to Live in Dyson. L.A. is in the house. Thanks for the compliment on the great shirt. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thanks for our friends. Um, also, let's see. Amanda Panda is our chat moderator. Please behave, folks. Board Game Feast, <laughs> as I said, is in the house. Uh, hello, James Rezzle. Thank you, friend. Always good to see you. Everyone's in the house. This is great. I saw a lot of these people earlier in, in uh, Board in East L.A. Board in East L.A., yeah. I, I caught just a little bit of it... Um, but it's wonderful to see John, a.k.a. Book of Nerds, back on stream. So, John, shout out to you, friend. Glad you're feeling better. It's so good. I mean, if y'all don't know John, um, and <clears throat> his partner uh, recently had, they're still recovering from COVID. Um, they are here in Southern California. And as you know, cause Southern California has been hit pretty hard um, by COVID. So, glad to see you're um, pretty, you know, streaming again, John. So, uh, that, that's great news. Board Game Feast has kettle chips. Yeah, let's talk about stream. Let's just jump right into it, folks. If you've never been here before, we always start our streams with stream snacks. What are you eating and or drinking? Um, I went back to the old school. I got LaCroix uh, lime flavor today. What about you, Michelle? You got some, like, some snacks there. Um, it's just like a trail mix type thing. I think it's called Coastal Berry at Costco. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that one's good. I like that one. I got the last... Uh, Last of it. So oh, okay, that's you it. Want any better eat them now? Better hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Gone. yeah, I like this because it's got the little yogurt chips and um, the almonds and the dried fruit. It's really, really good mix. Uh, let's see. Herbs Garden just uh, finished dinner. Um, stuff with oh lasagna. Mm -hmm. I haven't had lasagna in a while. We had uh, some breaded chicken that Michelle made for dinner. It was really delicious with some air fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Really, really weird. You're enjoying that air fryer, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. enjoying the air fryer. <laughs> I think I made lasagna one time that from scratch, and that was my first and last time. <laughs> it's a lot of labor. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's just so much cleanup. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Layers. Uh, Fremont Dark Star Imperial Oatmeal Stout. Nice. I've not had an oatmeal stout in years. Um, oh, my God. I can't even remember the last time I had it. It's very good. Told me Dice LA, leftover pho for dinner, now eating chocolate banana soft serve for my local fave. Oh, magpies. I don't we, we haven't been there. That's yeah. oh, that sounds delicious. Uh, kettle chips are always good. Uh, what else do we have? Kettle Ooh. corn. Oh yeah, kettle corn's nice. Oh you know the next thing I need to get for my instant pot is the clear lid. Because you can pop popcorn in there. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh nice. And there's recipes for kettle corn as well. Cool. Did a little nice say really close to the game house. Hey, speaking of game, game house, we had oh, thanks for Amanda Panda. <laughs> We had a wonderful pie from uh, Game House. It was two pies. Yeah, it was a um, peach ginger pie, which how did you like? I liked it a lot. I did too. I feel like the pear gingers was still a little better. What do you think? I like them both equally. Oh, okay. I don't discriminate <laughs> with my pie. <laughs> I yeah, I mean they're it's so good. We also get to sample um, what was it, the Nutella cream pie. Yeah. That. I thought it was going to be too sweet for me, but it turned out to be really, oh, just, mm, what do you do, chef's kiss? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, let's see, what, I need to check it out. Yeah, uh, I haven't tried popping popcorn in the Instant Pot. Yeah, so, do yeah. You, you need the lid, is that? Or? Well, that's what all the recipes say. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, just so you know what's happening in there. Yeah, <laughs> you so don't want to burn your, your that's popcorn. That's true, that's true. Oh my God, I want to go there, Yeah. Game House folks, and if you're anywhere in the Southern California area uh, in Glendale, uh, they are our local gaming cafe. They were the first one in SoCal. Uh, I think they've been around six or seven years. But again, like many businesses, they've been affected by COVID, and they cannot have people come over to play games. They had a w amazing library of like seventeen or eighteen hundred games, I think. Uh -huh. And little, like wall to wall games, and yeah. then they had some like on on a little ledge. Yep. You had to kind of be careful because it was between, there was like a table like for two and then a ledge okay. and then another table for two on the other side. <laughs> you so nice. had to be careful, you know, if you were picking from the, the small games that were on that ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always, we got to meet Amanda Panda there a few times, um, John Gonzalez, Book of Nerds. Um, then we, yeah, we saw um, oh, To Live in Dyson in LA there and was that? 
We met a lot of our friends there. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a really nice hub for Southern California gamers, but unfortunately the COVID thing can't host uh, game nights there anymore. So what they've been doing is once a week, mm -hmm. the owners have been baking pies. And they're, if you've ever been there, you know their baked goods are just outstanding. And, you know, shout out to them. Hopefully this keeps them afloat because every every week they announce two pies then they sell them up until Thursday and then you uh, can pick them up on Saturday. So it's like a four hour window on Saturday. You just go there, pick up your pie and take off. So shout out to Game House Cafe. Uh, what do we have? Uh, Sneaky Ruel got Michelle to talk with her hands to get access back. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the, the meme? <laughs> Was that a little kid? The, no, the baby. Couple, uh, the baby, and I was thinking the the one, uh, the black guy that does this. Uh, like, yeah. Um, Guildhall and Whittier and Burbank are great board game bars that are great, but also strong. Yeah, there's another one. Thank you, Herbs, Herbs uh, Gambit. Guildhall. Did they close the one in Whittier? I thought. Well, I don't actually. I don't know because I know that the Burbank one, they like built up an outside area so people could come in, but obviously that's not happening these days. I wasn't sure if the Whittier one was still open or not. Um, Tommy Miller's in the house. I want to shout out Tommy Miller, folks. Tommy Miller, if you don't mind me shouting you out, my friend, did a very, very nice thing. On my Amazon gift uh, wish list, I had um, some equipment on there, and one of the things was a microphone a boom stand. And also, um, you know, if you follow here... You know that we do the analog alerts and we have Felicia the follow fish that shows up. Uh, and then we say, bye Felicia, right? Tommy, in the kindness of his heart, not only got the microphone off the Amazon wishlist, but also a game called Bye Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> this showed up the other day. Michelle and I, uh, we you know, were just kicking back and a bunch of packages showed up at the door and we're like, did you order anything on Amazon? And I was like, no, and you know, neither of us did. And I just, I just always assume that's something from a board game company or whatever. But we're looking at it, I was like, oh, this doesn't look familiar. And we opened it and I was like, oh my gosh. And I saw a little note. And Tommy, thank you. That that was very kind of you, my friend. And one of the, soon we're going to get this to the table. <laughs> I, this has got to be, it's, I it's, think, minimum three. Uh, yeah, minimum three to eight players. Uh, so when Lauren has some free time, we'd love to get Lauren here. And we'll play, you know, as a, uh, as a family here, but also with y'all in chat. We'll, we'll do that. It's going to gonna be a special time so thank you again tommy miller appreciate it much much appreciated friend you know you were talking about i, I can't remember which stream it was mm -hmm. but you were talking about how um like this this physical room used to be our guest room and it yeah. is now the game room and i said we have lots of guests now yeah we that's all our guests in chat that's right you are our guest every almost every night here on chat, so. <laughs> slap it What's that we say? Instead of bye, Felicia, we can now say, thanks, Tommy Miller Jr. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Herbs Gamma says, Miss Dragon and Meeple. Oh, gosh, the Dragon and Meeple. Yeah, wasn't that, that was such a nice place. That was the, I mean, I love Game House because they're the OG, the original gaming cafe. But, oh, Dragon and Meeple was just absolutely gorgeous. And it was such a bummer. You know, they just, you know, I knew they were struggling before the pandemic. The pandemic yeah. pretty much just sealed their fate. Um, I mean, great beers, awesome food. The space, the itself. space, yeah. The space was like big. The chairs, definitely the most, oh gosh, yeah, yeah, the most comfortable gaming chairs I've ever sat oh, in. Were they selling those? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what they did. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. Unfortunately for uh, the gentleman's name, Chris uh, Buskirk, the owner, he just, I don't know what happened. Just one of those things. But yeah, even with now that the pandemic hit, that was it, they were in pretty much dire straits. So. It's, it's sad because I know Chris, he's a regular at Strategicon, mm -hmm. and, you know, he was, you know, a lot of, you know, most people in SoCal know Chris, and he's a kind-hearted guy, and just, you know, unfortunately business is business, it just wasn't happening. I don't know why, you know, I know that the parking was sort of tough out there. Yeah. You know, near USC, yeah. so, I don't know. Um, let's see what the comments are here. Ambie's in the house. Hi, Ambi. I think I saw Ambie. Yeah, mm -hmm. hi, Ambie. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so we have Ambi. We've got hey James. Oh yeah, we said hi to James. We're, we'll say hi to you again, James. <laughs> uh, time rollers in the house. Hi, time roller. What was I gonna say? I want to remind uh, people that I've been doing this thing um, since Friday for a couple of days here, and I'm gonna continue doing it every morning. Or not every morning. I want to do it Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, starting at either eight or nine a.m. Pacific. Just depends um, how groggy I am. Um, 
but I've been doing a co-working space, a virtual co-working space, and it's gone really well. Um, it's just a thing where I just work, and I have the camera on and music, like super chill music, and you know, just at, like I used to go to co-working spaces before the pandemic, and this is like a virtual uh, version of it. So I don't know. We did uh, on Friday. It like when you were able to participate, like work from your office. We got a lot of stuff done. I was so productive. Yeah. Because we usually, like, you know, before, in the before times, I would go to, well, we would go to, like, you know, a coffee shop or a yeah. boba shop or something. And, you know, I we had so much work done. And I don't know, it's just like that atmosphere. Mm. And, like, I don't know, I just felt like I had, you know, a limited amount of time. And, mm. you know, I would write all my papers, you know, and be as productive as I could be. Yeah. And... The, what you're doing kind of creates that atmosphere, even though we're not like physically there. Because I don't know, yeah. I just I need to talk once in a while mm -hmm. you know, to a human, to an adult. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, the chat you know kind of takes that that place right there. And yeah. I don't know. I just I was just so much more productive. I know I was too, and I've been using this app called Forest, and Forest breaks up your work uh, day into 25 minute chunks. So you do 25 minutes. And then you take a break. And with the forest app, I mean, it's cute. It's, uh, after 25 minutes, you grow like a little tree. Of, and you start your forest. And I don't know. I've been, I've been having a lot of fun with it. And just I've done that type of work or that style of work, um, my work style for many years now. But to actually have an app to do that, it, it's, I don't know, it's just really neat. Uh, Game Freak Girls in the House. <laughs> Monique. I'm so bad. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Auntie. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, thank you for being a friend. Hey, it was Betty White's birthday yesterday oh, yeah. for Sunday. Shout out to Betty White. She hit the big 99. I, just, I can't oh. even imagine. But yes, kudos to Betty White. And kudos to all of our fair, um, fellow American citizens. We are almost, we are less than a day away from a new president. Um, we tend not to get too political on this show because it's just not our thing. Um, it's, it's not really meant for it, but... Thank goodness we're getting a new president. <laughs> One that speaks in full sentences. <laughs> I, I don't want to open up a can of worms here, but yeah, right, yes. Right, right, Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 99 is crazy, right? It's just, I, I can't even imagine that. Yes. Thank goodness. And thank you, DJ Super Best Friend. DJ Super Best Friend and Board Game Spam, they just started streaming, and it's really cool. They... I caught their stream the other day. It was really neat. Um, it was very kind of Board Games fan to let me know they were going live um, because they are they play games while their baby's asleep. So it's like, you know, it's got this really, I don't know. You know how some games have tension? I feel like their their stream has a little tension. Like, can they finish the game before the baby, before <laughs> the baby wakes up? Yeah, it's, all, it's almost like a real-time game. It's like, hurry up before the baby wakes up. But, yeah, they, they've gotten to play, like, hour-long game or stuff. <laughs> It was, it's so cool to see. So shout out to you, DJ Super Best Friend and um, Board Games uh, Spam for doing that. Deadpan's in the house. Hi, Deadpan. Uh, Betty got 99 problems and 4581. <laughs> yes, folks, that's it. That's it. Drop the mic. Monique, drop that mic. That, that's it. Right there. <laughs> Betty <laughs> Betty White got 99 problems and 4581. That's, that's my new slogan for life. <laughs> Uh, dangerously. <laughs> DJ Super Best Friend. We like to live dangerously. Yes, that is a danger. You I, need I to live in Dice in LA. Here's yeah. some advice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, to live in Dice in LA. Our friends here <coughs> have also um, a new newborn. And uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we haven't talked to them as far as our game playing is going. I think they're still in that stage of... They're playing... Know, who can sleep the longest? Yeah, they're, they're playing that whole, can we get some, uh, like, a full night's sleep game. Um, oh, we got a new subscription. A Juva, uh, thank you. A Juva uh, has subscribed for two months with Prime. Thank you, A Juva. Uh, those of you that don't know, we do analog alerts here. So we want to give out an alert. A new subscription. Actually, it's a renewed subscription with Prime. Thank you, Juva. -va -a -a. I pre we appreciate your support. <laughs> I saw the vowels, you know, I'm trying to pronounce some vowels, <laughs> especially like the uh, Filipinos, if you know our last names and first names, we love our vowels, and they're normally all pronounced, you know, out, right? Well, Ru, El, Gavi, Ola, we have Ju, U, Ba, A, so. There are some names that are very long and have lots of consonants, like Hawaiian, you know? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, wow, I gotta like stop <laughs> and do every syllable, because... 
Yeah. You know, trying to read it all at one time. That's right. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There it is. Bottom shelf videos. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it myself, Juba. Okay, cool. But thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Especially with Prime. I love you. Y'all, you can subscribe with Prime. It doesn't cost, as long as you have a Prime account, uh, Amazon account, you can, you get one subscription for free, which is cool. So thank you for spending it, or thank you for using it here. Much appreciated, friend. Oh, Thai names are really fun. Oh, yes. Which one? Thai names, um, bottom shelf video games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have a lot, of, again, a lot of consonants, a lot of vowels. Uh, Game for Girl, Enti, come join uh, everyone for the singing party on Twitter. Oh, there's a singing party, party on, on Twitter? Twitter? Whoa. I guess I better make a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> you can always use one. Uh, Ruel has so much love. We love our bells. Agreed. Agreed. <sighs> Mini B is in the house. Mini B is our friend in uh, IRL, real life. So thank you, Mini B, for hanging out. And um, I did give Bruno a treat. Yes, Bruno <laughs> got many treats today. If you all don't know, Michelle, we got a um, treat maker. It's like a little waffle maker, but it, it's in the shape of, like, little dog bones. <laughs> it looks like a George Foreman grill. <laughs> and it's a really small one, though. It's, yeah. like, this big, and you can only make six at a time. Yeah. So it takes me a little while. <laughs> Wait, 31 of them. Yeah, <laughs> last, <cool>. last batch. <laughs> Bruno's so happy. I gotta go for, uh, wait for the keyboard for a bit. One baby's, oh, okay, baby, no worries. Oh, Hope Abby's your baby playing that sleep. game, too. <laughs> yeah, we all know that game. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is all the treats in the world. Yes, agreed. agreed. <laughs> so I forgot to, so we're going to play uh, Hocus Pocus. Um, I, we want to thank Robinsberger for sponsoring the stream, and also Hocus Pocus, this game... From what I heard, okay, so we have this is gonna be our first playthrough. We did a practice session. I looked online on BGG, and everyone says how hard this game is, and it's easy to learn. But I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be tough to beat, folks. It's a cooperative game, and we're trying to stun the three witches, and you'll see in just a second how it goes. Um, actually, let me do that right now. And I'm I already messed something up. I think uh, where are we at here? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Our faces are there. Okay. I thought our faces weren't there for some reason. We had no face. We, we had no face. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Here's the game, folks. Uh, let me turn this off real quick. Uh, so this is the cauldron. Michelle and I have, we start with four ingredient cards. And I'll just show a couple here on the uh, close-up cam. So ingredient cards are like the dash of pox. And you can't really see the colors here because of the green screen. But you'll have like the newt saliva. That's a yellow one. Um... The oil of boil, right, ingredient. And this is the deck of ingredient cards here. Um, so we have different colors. This is a blue dash of pox. There's also yellow. There's thine own tongue, which is see-through because it's green. And there's orange uh, colors and so forth. So there are five different symbols. Uh, this is also, what is that, the toe? I forgot what that's called. Uh, the dead man's toe. So that's dead man's toe right there. Uh, we have five different ingredients with five different colors. And what we're trying to do is, let me bring this up. If all five cards in the cauldron are the same color, then we stun Sarah. Uh, Sarah is, well, you'll see it there, right there. If all five cards in the cauldron are the same ingredient, then Mary is stunned. And finally, if the same ingredient and there is one of each color, then Winifred is stunned. Winifred is uh, Bette Midler, and that's the toughest <laughs> one. <clears throat> so, each time a witch is stunned, the stun token moves up one space. Um, that yeah. is, uh, the stun token is here, and it's going to go up like that. Okay. Got so two Bruno walks. Oh, we got two Bruno walks. Uh, let me shoot. I don't know. You know, I think I took the Bruno walk off. Sorry, folks. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Let me see. Where did that go? Bruno's not walking right now. He's sleeping. <laughs> Poor Bruno. I could probably add it on here. Let me see. Um, Bruno Revolt. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get to back to Bruno later, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, I totally forgot to add that here. So, anytime, each time a witch is stunned, the, the sun token moves up one space. Doesn't matter which sister is stunned, and you may stun the same witch multiple times. You do not have to stun each witch once. Each witch once. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I know. If you stun a witch, the round ends immediately. The ingredient played to stun the witch is a special ingredient, or if it is, ignore the effects of a symbol. The round ends before a spell can be cast. So what that means is anytime we're going to play a card here that has one of these symbols right here, 
um, that's a special ingredient. If it has this on the cauldron, then we do a magic spell, which basically hinders us. And then finally, if we have one that has a little cat, uh, what's that cat's name again? Binks. Binks. Our buddy Binks. Uh, where is that cat at? Darn it. It's hiding. It is hiding. <laughs> there it is. If Binks shows up, there's the cat, we get this super cute cat token. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and the player who um, grabs it may place it in front of themselves or their um, the, their other player. And what that means is from now on, you can you play your cards face up. So this game is a game of limited information. So if you had the banks, if I had banks, then I can show what cards I have in my hand face up. Otherwise, you cannot share information um, with you, of your hand with the other players. The only way you do it, the turn structure works like this. On your turn, you ask one question. You ask either, does anybody have this uh, ingredient, newt saliva? Or does someone have this color, in this case, green? So you can ask one or two questions. Your playing partners can answer yes or no. They cannot give you the number of cards they have. So if Michelle had newt saliva, the little newts, and she had like three of them in her hand, she only says, yes, I have a newt. I don't know what kind. And then on your turn, you're going to place this. You may place it on a matching color or a matching symbol. So in this case, I could play the newt on the newt space, or on this orange space covering up the tongue, okay? And this is how we're going to um, stun the witches by getting all the same color on all five or all same ingredient on all five, which I feel like those are the two easiest ones. The third one, Winterfell, is the tough one. That's where, again, you have to have all the same ingredient with five different colors. That one sounds tough, but the good thing is when you stun the witch, you place this here. So if a spell card comes out and it says, like, let's say we stun Winifred. If the card says Winifred on it, uh, for instance, this one. Dance until you die. Uh, Winifred, uh, she casts that spell, but because she's stunned, we ignore the effects. Okay, so stunning them is a good thing. And that's pretty much the game. We have to stun them three times. If we, at any point in the game, we go to draw an ingredient card and we cannot... The game is over, okay? So here's the thing about stunning witches. Like, when you stun a witch, we're going to look at the cards that have been played in the discard pile and also here. We're going to gather them up. Any cards that don't have a special symbol on it are mm -hmm. discarded out of the game. So we're going to be, our deck's going to get smaller and the deck is going to be comprised more of the ones that have like either the spell things or the cat things. Okay. Okay, so the deck's going to get a little smaller as we go. So... It's like sort of a race to get these stun these witches before the you know time stun these gonna stun these witches before time <laughs> runs out. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got all kinds of Bruno emails. Thanks, James. Good to see you on. Uh, good to see that as well. That last one seems very unlikely. Agreed. I feel like stunning Winifred's gonna be brutal. Silver Metal Tavern's in the house. Hello, Silver Metal Tavern. GB Glazer showed up. Too. GB Glazer's in the house too. Thanks, GB. Always good to see y'all here. All right. It, you know, it, it's good. Like Michelle is saying, it's, you know, this is our guest room slash game room, but we have all our guests and it's friends our guest here. Room. So it is our guest room. Daryl B. Gaming 2 is in here as well. Daryl B. Gaming, that's his second account because his other one he got locked yeah, out. Of yeah, I, see, I noticed that. Yeah, but uh, he says, Abby wants to try this. I'm only willing to play a co op with her. We'll have Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl is, uh, he's our friend, and he's he's not a, um, a co-op co type of uh, player. I'm going to move Michelle here, just so you can see her a little okay. better here. Um, I don't know where to lean. <laughs> yeah, that way, right there. Okay, so I can move that there. Um, seems a little strange that the stunt tasks have equal, different difficulty, but they're all equal in value. Huh. Yeah, we're going to see how that works out, um, Slackfish. Abby wants to try, the, oh, okay, I just read, yeah, so I think... <laughs> what was that game we were playing when we couldn't talk? It was the four of us playing and, and Daryl was being... <laughs> was it the, was it the <laughs> mind? The... Oh no, no, it was, it was Magic Maze. Was, like, yeah, tapping Magic Maze. With the, the whatever. Yeah, the token. <laughs> Daryl was... Yeah, he was uh, getting on Abby's last nerve, apparently. <laughs> you know, I mixed up the wrong cards here. These Hocus cards are... Focus, focus card is supposed to go there. <laughs> magic maze. Yeah, magic maze was hilarious. So Daryl was, uh, yeah. 
was so obnoxious. That, that's, yeah, that, no, I believe those were the words of his wife, Abby, as well. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out, Daryl and Abby. Good to see y'all. Excuse me. Okay, so, uh, Michelle, do you have your four ingredients cards? I do. Okay, cool. So I need to give myself four of these. I mixed up the uh, Hocus, Hocus cards. Um, kitty cat on the table, yeah. Th this cat, it's such a cool little uh, meeple. Binks is that cat. Um, so, that's the name of the little boy in the movie. Yeah, who I, turns well, into a cat, right? Yeah. I only watched the first, I don't know, maybe half hour of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have liked that when I was younger. Okay, so friends, uh, old uh, mini be oh magic maze is real fun. Love that token. Yeah, it's so funny. Like boom, 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 boom. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get one, two, three, four cards, and you want to go first, Beth? Sure. So I just put I either match um, the symbol or the color. Yeah, but first you ask okay. a question. I so. gotta ask you something. Yeah. Okay. So either ask type of ingredient or color. And I want to say thank you to Robinsburg again for sponsoring. And thank you, friends, for joining us tonight. This is Hocus Pocus. Okay. Do you have newt saliva? Yes. Okay. So maybe I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just draw back up to four. Draw back up to four. Okay. Okay. Do you have... Hmm, that's interesting you play that. Do you have thine own tongue? No. Okay. Uh, I am going to play... Dead Man Toe on the orange spot. Okay. And you might have noticed, folks, Michelle put this orange one here, but that's okay because she matched the toe here. So we've got two toes. I'm going to grab this here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slackfish and that that's yeah. Yep. Slackfish says you may also want to ask yourself if you're trying to get all the same color or all the same ingredient. <sighs> this sounds like go fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, just um do you have newt saliva? Uh yeah. You do. I think that's the one you asked me last time. Did I? Yeah. But I do have it. I do have mute saliva. Okay. Is someone snoring? Yeah. <laughs> Mini P. That's so funny. You heard it. It's Bruno, our pug. He's, he's, he's down here snoring. Yeah, he's like right here <laughs> next to me. He's always next to me. Okay. Did I do that right? <laughs> okay, so uh, Michelle's gone with mute saliva. So um, earlier today, Bruno was in my office, and he brought his little, like, mat, his sleeping mat, right next to me. <laughs> and I couldn't move. Yep, it is uh, Bruno, yep. Um, do you have Dead Man's Toe? No. Okay, then I'm going to go here. Newt saliva on the yellow, and I grab a new one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well. Yeah, you could either say color or uh, type. That's correct. So. So. <laughs> okay, and you said you had newt saliva. Oh, but you just put a newt saliva down. I can't use this anyway. So, never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have oil of boil? Um, you know what? I'm going to, before we go, I totally forgot. You you played this one mm -hmm. with Binks. So, oh. you get to choose either me or yourself to play cards straight face up. Okay, I'm going to choose me. Okay. So, Michelle, I get to see all her cards. Uh, also, folks, uh, real quick, we have these trick tokens. These are one-time abilities used in the game. You may use these at any point, once, and then they're out of the game. Circle of Salt, discard a spell, draw another spell. That's when the witches do that. 
We have Billy Butcherson. Do not do not play any ingredient on your turn. Another one-time ability that we have is Burning Rain of Death. Discard three ingredients. Draw three ingredients. And finally, we have Daylight Saving. Swap one ingredient with a player. So those are one-time abilities uh, we may trigger at any point in the game. Okay. So, Michelle, I get to see what she has. Okay. And then you may ask what I have and then play a card. Do you have a blue? Yes. <laughs> Gabriel, my brother had some Crypt Keeper looking feet. <laughs> when he took his socks and shoes off, I would dance around like Sarah and say, Dead man's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I was done with love right there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. So this one goes so you can Face see. Up. It. Yep. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna check the rules just in case. Binks helps you uh, when you play place Binks in front of you. You may pl you may play your cards revealed face up. Yeah. Binks stays in front of you until another ingredient showing Binks is played. Oh, okay. So if if you if we play one that has another Binks, then he's removed. Or a card um, tells you to remove it, or the round ends. Okay. okay. Uh, so I would ask a question, but I, I don't have to because I see Michelle's hand here. And no. at what point can you use one of these? Anytime. Powers? Anytime on your turn, then just flip it over and it's done for the game. <sighs> Which way are we going to go with this? I know. Okay, I think. It kind of limits what you can do because you only have four cards. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you have a newt, you have a tongue, you have pox, and you have... Oh, you pox. have two poxes. You have two pox. <laughs> Shakura. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. I did just say that. Oh, my gosh. What am I... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to cover... He would then chase me, dead man's toe first, until I ran into my room and shut the door. <laughs> we had a gap under the door, so his creepy foot would poke under until I threatened to puke on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, siblings of childhood. It was all fun. Nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it is your turn. Oh. So uh, what I placed was this yellow dead man's toe to cover that. So we got two yellows, two toes, two newts. And two oranges. So it's sort of like, I mean, we're sort of okay. like halfway of, on a bunch of stuff. Okay. Here. So I'm going to place this here. Okay. Oh, and did you want to ask a um, question first? Do you have a new saliva? No. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So, okay. You're going to play that? <laughs> I am. Okay. And what is this thing? The, is that one of those? Yep. Spell symbol. Okay. So we're going to do one of these spells. It is Sarah Sanderson, and she is not stunned, so this will take effect. The time's come to play here in my Garden of Magic. Players cannot ask for information until another spell is cast. Boo, earns. But hey, that's not too bad because I can see Michelle's cards anyways. So until the next spell is cast, that stays in effect. So basically, you can't ask me from now on about my cards. Oh, I forgot to anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, boo, earns, yeah. Uh, sorry, what's the winning condition? Oh, yeah, no problem. The winning condition, glad you asked, is... Uh, when you stun three witches, uh, the game is immediately over. I think it's immediately over, yeah. We haven't stunned one yet. Those are the conditions to stun. Uh, they must be the... This must be full of the same color, the same ingredient, or all of the same ingredient with five colors. And that one sounds tough to do. Okay. So, Michelle's got two yellows. Is that an orange? Okay. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Yeah, keep going back and forth between like what we can do. I know. Okay, I know it. So you have two yellows. <laughs> I am going to cover up. That was a little loud. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cover up. I'm going to use Dead Man's Toe to cover up the other Dead Man's Toe, but it becomes a, a purple. Okay, and then I grab a card. <clears throat> okay. So now in Michelle's turn, because of this power, she cannot ask me what um, 
a, a question online here. It's like this. So you have two yellows, Ruel says in the form of his allowed question. <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> um... Well, I can't put... No, I can put that on an orange. Yep. No, yep. Or that. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, GB Glazer says, Ruel said that, like, he was going to will those yellows onto the table. Well, it is, you know, <laughs> hocus pocus, so I think there was a spell in there. Um, I can't say anything. Okay. So Michelle has covered up a yellow with another yellow. Uh, Dash of Pox, there is a magic spell, so this is going to trigger. It is the calming circle. This is Mary Sanderson. Uh, think soothing thoughts. Each player passes one random ingredient from their hand to the player on the right. So go ahead and just randomly choose oh, one. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what we're going for here. I think it'll get a little clearer on this turn. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, so now this one, uh, now I can ask Michelle about her hand, but she still has binks, so I can look and see. Okay. You have two yellows. You have orange and green. Okay. I'm going to play this yellow on the newt. And then I draw a card. That's so funny. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, your voice is just a little louder. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some syllables are, are a little louder than <laughs> others. Oh, now I wish I... Oh. How... Uh, yeah, this is tough. Well, I can't put either one of yeah, these okay. down. So what are your plays that you have left? All I can do is this one. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because I can put a yellow on one of those. Oh, you could ask me a question first. Either color or ingredient. Um, do you have a yellow? Uh, no. You do not have a yellow. Okay, so this is the only one I can play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and you draw. This is purple? Yes. Um, I, I can ask you a question, but yeah, Binks, I already see that. Um, I'm going to play this Oil of Oil right there. Okay. Uh, I draw a card. You may ask me a question and then play a card. Do you have any yellows? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to play this right here. Because I don't know, I just felt the need to play a yep. yellow. Now, it's got a cat. It has a cat, so Binks goes away. And now your cards go back in your hand. I cannot see your cards. Oh. Okay. One last look? Okay. <laughs> Take mental note. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, just to make sure, do you have... Actually, I'm going to try to set this up. Okay. Uh, do you have... Wannabe Kiwi just joined us. Hello. Wannabe Kiwi's in the house. Hi. Good to see you on here. It's been a while. Um, do you have any newt saliva? Yes. Okay, just a note for later. Now I'm going to play Thine Own Tongue on Thine Own Tongue. There's that. And it is your turn. You yeah. want to ask a question? Do you have any yellows? No. That's all right. I didn't need your yellows. <laughs> yes! High five. We have stunned a witch. Um, <laughs> we've stunned a witch. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead and draw that. We're going to end the round. So we have stunned all... They're all yellows. Good job, babe. All ingredients are the same color. We have stunned Sarah. So now in the next round, when Sarah comes up uh, from these cards, uh, her effect will not come into play. So we got one, folks. We need This goes up one, and we need to do two. But now we do some end-of-round stuff. But before we do that, 
I want to shout out Wannabe Kiwi 13. Thanks for subscribing. Wannabe Kiwi is subscribed to Tier 1 for five months. That's awesome. So we get an alert, alert. We have a renewed subscription. Thanks to Wannabe Kiwi 13 for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friend. I feel Truly like I need to be doing something. I, I don't know. have Where's any props. The, oh, here. Here's the clapping hands. Okay. We got a round of applause for Wannabe Kiwi. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I was doing this. I was doing that. Thank you, Wannabe Kiwi. Appreciate it. We've got one, folks. So uh, let's get back to the game here. Now, what we do for the end of the round, we um, you've ended your turn. The, place the stun token on the witch, which we did. And only one witch can be stunned at a time. Move the stun token up. And gather on Greenus and Cauldron. So can you help me with that, yeah. please? And um, anything in the discard pile, which we didn't have a discard pile. Okay. And we're going to remove the ones that are blank. The ones that have the symbols will stay in the game. <laughs> hey, Wannabe Kiwi says, I love that you bock a pillow. Oh, yeah. That was from Amanda Panda. Um, so. <laughs> Slapfish. <laughs> what does Benny think about stunning a witch? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Folks. If you haven't been on the stream for a while, we have a new friend called Benny the Bits Bear. He shows up whenever you spend bits and, Hello! I'm Benny the Bits Bear. Thank you, Slackfish, for spending 100 bits. You know, what do I think of... What was it? Uh, about stunning a weach. Weach! I've stunned you. <laughs> Which has been stunned. Good luck, Ruel and Michelle. Congratulations on stunning your first switch. Thank you, Slackfish, for spending bits. <coughs> Friends, this is Rolling with Ruel, sponsored by Robin's Burger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Wannabe Kiwi, yeah, Benny, that is Benny the Bits Bear. Uh, Mini B says, oh, we ought, I can't stop laughing. Oh my god, it's the first <laughs> time he brought out Benny. Uh, my face was hurting. <laughs> yeah. They're laughing so much. It, it's like, it, it kills us whenever Benny. And also, Benny is Bruno's like oh, nemesis. Yeah. Uh, okay, Bruno, totally Bruno's still asleep. Right yeah, now. Bruno really tries to like get at Benny and just you know bite at him, and he he wants to tear him up. So we got to keep Benny up here where Bruno can. Um, <laughs> 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 okay, so let's uh, continue here. So basically, Michelle, we are losing all these cards. They're out of the game. So okay. we lost three thumbs, a couple of oil, um, oil of boils bunch of yellows i think are the ones so those yellows. are out, yellows are yellows. out of the game <laughs> so these go back and we reshuffle these we already have our four cards and we are into the second round now let me see what else um binks is out here okay the new round begins with okay i, I start bernhardt <laughs> i think the last time i was here the big thing was but like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, GB Glazer, I would really like to develop an in-depth backstory for Ben. I I would love that. Where would Benny be from? Benny would, Baron Park. Baron Park, probably. <laughs> yeah, Baron Park, and I I feel like he was like a smoker back in the day. You know, he's got that <laughs> raspy voice, right? Former smoker Benny the um, Bit Spare. Just put a patch on it. <laughs> Okay, so here are the cards, and we... Okay, so these four that I have from the last yep. um, round, I keep them? Yep, it says do not discard, just play it along. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is he hiding a deep, dark secret? Could be. Brentwood. <laughs> okay, so I'm Is going... Is he lonely? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask first, do you have any dash of pox? Oh, I guess I should look. <laughs> Stop reading the chat. No. No dash of pox. Okay. In that case, uh, let's go with... Um, hmm. <laughs> They're developing his story. Nice. Oh, I love it, folks. Yeah, <laughs> we have a setting. Benny Beverly Hills. We have a place here called Brentwood Bay. Nice. Um, while y'all develop Benny's backstory, we're going to continue here. So you don't have any dash of pox, you said. So I am going to no. play a dash of pox. Because maybe you can cover it up or whatever. But there's a dash of pox. I get this. Benny the Baron Park butt hut bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's my turn? Yeah. Okay, do you have thine own tongue? Yes. 
Okay. Okay, so I don't... Do you have... Um, newt saliva? Yes. Okay, in that case... You do have the newt. This is purple... This uh, blue. Blue. They're both. This is blue and blue. Oh, blue, blue. Okay, cool, blue, blue. So I'm going to put this blue here. Okay. Oh, Team Dead Camera, folks. Awesome. <laughs> Benny was kicked out of Baron Park for smoking too much and using all the honey money. All the honey money on, on packs. packs. <laughs> oh, poor Benny. <laughs> Left his family in the woods trying to live out his dream of busting into the glitzy world of bear puppetry. <laughs> Um, do you have newt saliva? Yes. Okay. Oh, were we supposed to, let me see, uh, gather all the ingredients, place the stone over the pitcher? Okay, got it. Hmm. And you just played this one? No. Or you this play one. I played that one, so I was supposed to do binks. I forgot it. We oh. did. Actually, we did two binkses, so one binks would have opened it up, the other one takes it away, yeah. so... Okay. Darn it! So, we're going to make up for that. Why don't I just show you my cards, and we'll, that'll be the makeup for that. Okay. I'll show you three of my cards. Okay. Okay. So now it is... And you just played the new, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. In that case... I will also... Oh, wait, I, I gotta ask a question. Do you have... Purple? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna play a purple newt right there. So we have two purples and two blues on board. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Want to be cute. You yeah. really do need to get some Rolling with the World t-shirts. I want a team dead camera. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Um, oh, do you have any green? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. Okay. So we'll... And you get one of these bad boys. Oh, okay. I smell children. So it's Mary Sanderson. Oh, so. Oh, it's still not happening, huh? Really is dead? Nope, it's just. Uh, Sleeping. Disconnected, yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go again. <coughs> I smell children from Mary Sanderson. Mary is not stunned, so this comes into effect. Shishka baby! Choose a pile with at least one ingredient. Discard all the ingredients in that pile. What pile? From there. Oh. Boo urns. Discard all the ingredients in that pile. Oh. Um. Oh. You want to choose one? Oh, it's oh, cause I chose that card, huh? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, can I see what's underneath? Yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the discard over there. So now it's my turn. Oh, so you took that off because of that. Interesting. Do you have... Do you have yellow? No. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, wait. That was dumb. No, no, no. That's it. Okay. I'm going to go here. Dash of Fox covering the yellow. <clears throat> okay. Do you have thine own tongue? No. Ooh. Uh, hi, Legends. Thanks for joining us. Aloha. Uh, Forensic Man says, It's been difficult to catch all my studying. has been crazy. Hey, Forensic Man, th thanks for stopping in. Hope the studying is going well. Uh, Michelle, do you have... Do you have blue? Yes. Do you have blue, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to cover this blue with this one there. Okay. Eating pizza. Nice. Eating pizza. Eating, eating pizza. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Do you have? I don't know what to. Huh. Do you have dash of pox? Yes. You do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this might be a good thing then. Okay. Okay. Really? Legends says last time they had pizza was November. Oh, wow. Want to be key? Well, I need to head off for the night. I wish you could hang out more, but I have a test for a job and play. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the sub. Want to be Kiwi and good luck on your test yeah, for work. Good luck. Wish you the best. Okay, so you just placed the pox. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have? Wait a second. Do you have dash of pox? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna play. Okay, yeah. That's green over there, right? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to play the Dead Man's Toe, and it's green, um, and it's got a cat, so I'm going to give you the cat so you can play your cards face up. Okay. Oh, I draw one first. Okay. Ooh, okay. You have two newts, a uh, dino tongue, and a dash of pox. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Slackfish, you know, in some ways, this is like super distilled pandemic, right? Huh. Super distilled, yeah. I'm going to agree. It's easy to learn and play this game, but it, it's hard. Yeah, well, to try to meet one of these conditions. Yeah. Well, that's constantly changing. Yep. Now, we do have these special abilities, oh, too, yeah, just in case. Those. Just in case. Okay, do not play an ingredient. Swap one ingredient with the player. Is this at random? Uh, your choice. Okay, and then circle of salt, discard a spell. Oh, no, I need that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then burning rain of death, <coughs> discard three ingredients and draw three ingredients. Hmm. I don't feel we're, like we're not that desperate yet, right? <laughs> we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Board Game Feast, the Binks and Evil is classic. I, we love it, too. Let's uh, throw okay. it in here real quick. Binks. Okay. Legend of Spy Club. I have not played that yet. Um, you know what? Maybe, should I do this? Your call. Discard three and draw three. Mm -hmm. You want to ask a question first just so maybe get some information? I don't even know if I should ask <coughs> color or... Or item. Yeah, any any bit I think at this point helps. Do you have blue? No. <sighs> okay. Ooh, Under Fallen Skies. That game I really want to play. So you don't have blue. Okay, I'm not gonna play one of those. Hey, Bruno. Hey, Bruns. It's wait. He's awake looking for Benny. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Hey, sweet boy. That was a blue covering a blue? Yes. Okay, so go ahead. I think he wants to go out. Okay. Hey, sweet boy. So again, normally I would ask Michelle a question, but her cards are face up now, so I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to play this pox on the green. Now, Michelle may ask questions. Do you have thine own tongue? No. I don't even know if my questions are, are helping. Okay, so I'm going to play that. Okay, that's a green newt. Oh. Oh, and yeah. it is a spell, too. So we've got a oh. spell coming up. This is Sarah Sanderson. But, thankfully, we have stunned Sarah, so this does not come into play. Take that, Sarah. We ouch. Okay. <laughs> then, let me see what you have. You have... Pox, two thy tongues, three thy, okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we can do this. Do you have any orange out there? Mm-hmm. You do have orange. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to place newt on newt to give you an orange. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to be clear, stun we ought to be tripping. <laughs> 
Oh, finally got Whistle Mountain and Praga Kaput Regni. Yes. Two, two hot games right there. Purple Pox. What? You can play Tongue into Purple Pox. Oh, Purple there's... Pox. No, there's no Purple Pox. There's a, It's Green Pox and uh, Orange Pox. Uh, orange Newt and um, Blue Tongue. Oh, in two turns, yeah. Slackfish is, um... So if I do this, then this? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. And, oh, but Binks shows up, so Binks is here, now oh, your cards go back. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, this is tough, because I really wanted to do... Okay, in this case, since this is blown already, uh, Michelle, do you have any, I already forgot what you have, but do you have any yellow? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since so just, I've been, you know, we weren't, I don't think we have enough pox to do it, so I'm going to play, wait a second, this is blue, right? Mm-hmm. I know you had a bunch of those tongues. And we need four. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this one again to get um, Binks back out, and I'll put it back here so you can play with your cards face up. Okay. Okay. So. So what do we have? Three poxes. We have one tongue and one newt. I don't know what to play. Yeah. <laughs> Um, ask, ask me a question. Ask me a question first. Do you have Dash of Pox? Yes. Okay. So. Port at home, thanks for joining us. Good to see you, friend. The Dash of Pox. I don't want to get rid of the Dash of Pox. But I can't play. Well, no, I can play this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not just gonna. <coughs> Wait, what? What are you doing? I just cleared my throat. Sorry. Um. <laughs> um. <coughs> I just cleared my throat, folks. Okay, so Michelle's playing that. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry to, to live in Dice I had to turn down my volume. Baby girl sleeping. Sorry. <laughs> sorry to baby to live in Dice LA. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so I would ask Michelle a question, but oh my gosh. Look, I'm going to play this yellow here. Look, we have four of those. Imagine that. Wow. Okay. Okay, so do you have blue? Uh, this is purple, right? Mm -hmm. I do have blue. Hmm. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so close. It's okay. <laughs> we, we, we do have a spell. Okay. And it is Mary Sanderson, so we are going to play this one. I smell children. Sick them. Choose a pile with at least one ingredient. Discard all ingredients in that pile. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so. I love how Michelle is on the right side of the stream, and when she looks over at Irwell, it looks like she's smirking at the chat. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I forgot to uh, change this out. Um. <laughs> Mini B. Aham. <laughs> Do you have... Oh, I'm not going to ask because... Okay. You have... Do you have a blue one? Which one's the blue? This one. And the rest of these are purple. Gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to dig through that deck. I'm going to play this one. Yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Oh, no, I can't. 
Darn it! Okay, I've got to play this here. Okay, yeah, now you can ask. Um. Do you have blue? I do. Okay. Is that purple? It's purple. Darn it. Oh my gosh, this hurts. You know what, did, um, how many of each, like, thing, uh, uh, each there, item? There are 15 green cards, so 10 of each. So, 10, 10 colors, or? 10 of those toes, so that's two of each color, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to use my this power, discard three and get three. Okay, Games of Fire says she played this for the first time um, a few months ago. Oh, cool. That's thinkier than yeah. I, I was led to believe. <laughs> um, do not play an ingredient. Swap with an ingredient with a discard a spell, draw another card. No, I don't want to do that. Dash of... Uh, we need one more dash of pox, folks. What else do we have here? Toes... Grab it if you see it. It has been selling off the shelf. Really? Oh, Honey Buzz. Are we talking about Honey Buzz? Yeah. Oh, is it Honey? Oh, I thought we were okay. talking oh, about Oh, Games of Fire. Hi. I didn't see. Uh, yeah, Honey Buzz, amazing games. Oh. Yeah. Have we played that? Not yet. Yeah, that's the one there. Of course, it's, it's, it is selling like hotcakes. Okay, so it's my turn. I need to... I really need to get there. Um, what are your blue cards? Dead Man Toe. That's it. The, these two are purple. This one's green. Boo earns this. This is purple. This is purple. Oh, I know. I've, duh. Okay. Okay. So... Do you have Dash of Pox? Yes. Griff Dog. Hi, Griff Dog. Okay. Just got my Honey Buzz and Honey Pot expansion in the mail. Congrats. Nice. Is that blue? Uh, purple. Purple. Oh, man, I'm so close. Oh, what do you have here? This purple? Blue. This one's purple. This is purple, right? Gosh. Darn it. I've gotta I gotta break things up here. I, I just I cannot play. I'll tell you what, no, I'm gonna play this. Uh draw discard three ingredients, draw three ingredients. Discard these three, I'm gonna draw three. One, two, three. Come on. <laughs> Darn it has been said 263 times on your street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of darn it. Gosh. Uh, I can do this one, I believe. This purple, right? Yes. Okay, purple toe. Toe. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting close here. Um, we need to... Hopefully, finish this out. You have okay. toes. Yes. And... So, do you have blue? Yes. Is that a blue one? Yes. Okay, go ahead and draw. If you go to here to draw and there's nothing there, you lose the game. But, what up? Blue on blue, we have all Bam! five. Yes! Drop the mic! Woo! <laughs> so, we have stunned Sarah again, all ingredients of the same color. So that's the second uh, stun. That's not all ingredients of the same color. Oh, sorry. All uh, ingredients that match. All ingredients match and all five colors are visible. Even better, <laughs> Winifred. <laughs> what up, Winifred? That's the second weach we have hit. <laughs> oh, that was good, man. Okay, so keep your cards in your hand. Uh, Binks goes back so I, okay. we cannot look. And then now we grab these cards here and that discard pile. Let me take out all the ones with... 
no symbols? Correct. Or symbol? No symbols. Yeah, the clean okay. ones. So we'll put it here in this stack here. Woo, that was close, folks. One more to go. So the no symbols are going to leave the deck, unfortunately. Okay, here's the no symbols. Okay, so every, the ones with symbols, we're going to go there. We'll, I'll shuffle those in a second. Let's just take a look. Okay. We're losing a bunch of newts. Uh, newts. A couple of thumbs. <laughs> oh, we lost all the uh, poxes. Okay, so no poxes. No poxes. Uh, looks like a bunch of blues are out. So we're going to put those away, and then I'm going to shuffle. So now our deck is, like, super thin. <laughs> yeah, we do have three powers left. Uh, Slackfish, one <coughs> more to go. <laughs> the cough, love it. Griff Dog has subscribed at Tier 1 for three months. Thank you, Griff Dog. Aww. Much appreciated, friend. Let's get back over here. Let's do the analog alert. Alert. We have a renewed subscription. Thank you, Griff Dog. That is three months at Tier 1. Yes, thank you, friend. Much appreciated. Can you give me a round of applause? <laughs> oh. <laughs> High five. High five. <laughs> thank you, Grip Dog. And thank you all for uh, all of your support. Really appreciate it. Uh, let me put that down there, bring the game back up. So now we've got, oh, these are my three cards. I was supposed to draw one before that last round. Let me shuffle it. Um, okay, so we don't necessarily have to get, like, Mary now. Right, it's just okay. one more witch to stun. So this one is all ingredients match. Uh huh. Or all colors, so. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, one more, folks. Can we do it? It's tough because this is really thin now. Uh, Michelle will take the first turn and okay. may ask a um, question. Do you have oil of boil? Yes. Somebody's yeah. gate. Yeah. It's really windy out here. Yeah, uh, here in California, we've had this uh, high wind advisory all day, like warnings and stuff, and it's been crazy today. Okay, so you said oil of boil, and but then you put tow. Do you have dash of pox? No. No dash of pox. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Oh, so Dead Man's Toe has a symbol. Oh. Yeah. Are you um, getting Santa Ana's? Yeah, I think this is the Santa Ana's. What's weird is on our street, though, like, <laughs> when it's windy... Sometimes it's like windier on our street, and then once we leave our little neighborhood, then it's not windy. But <laughs> that's not the case today. It's like extra windy. Super windy. Uh, so this one doesn't have any um, witch, so it, it definitely takes um, effect. Remove the stun token from a, pl from, a from play. play. And, oh, okay. So this, what? so the stun token comes out of play. So now Winifred, if we pick up her card, it does play. Okay. And then we pick up another spell. Boo earns. Well, how about this? So we've done this. Why don't we use our one-time ability, discard a spell, draw another spell. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the power, the circle of salt, discard a spell, draw another spell. So we discard, take flight, because we want the winner Fred to stay stunned. And this is Sarah, run amok. Remove Binks from play. Uh, that's all good, because we're not in play yet. Each player dis oh, but each player discards one ingredient and draws one ingredient. Okay, so that can be of your choice. Okay. Uh, just discard. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I too shall uh, discard. Okay. Um, now it's my turn. Do you have? Dead Man's Toe. Yes. Okay, I'm playing this. Which one? Do you have oil? Oh, sorry. Uh, there's a cat. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'll take the cat for me this time. Okay. Hmm. Mini B says, really windy out there. Surprised the lights haven't gone out. Yeah, we were, we were thinking it was gonna be uh, blackout. 
I keep getting alerts on my phone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you covered that. Okay. Do you have... Winds up to 100 miles per hour in some areas. I believe it. Insane in the membrane, folks. Uh, do you have... Uh, do you have blue? Yes. Okay. I'm going to play Oil of Boil there. Um, oh, and it's got a cat, unfortunately, so... My cards go back up. You want to take one last look? <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's your turn. I don't believe this. It says over here it's only 24 miles per hour. The winds are... Uh, no. no. Definitely not. That must have been old. <laughs> I need to be updated. <laughs> okay. Griff Dog says uh, 100 miles an hour. I, I believe that. Or at mm -hmm. least earlier today. It was definitely... I mean, we've had strong winds before. And th these were really strong. Yeah, crazy winds here better tie down. Yeah. I went out earlier for lunch uh, when we were <coughs> picking up the car from the shop, and I saw one tree down uh, near our neighborhood. I'm just glad I didn't have to commute today. Oh, I know. You know, like to work. It just... That was bad. Yeah. And <laughs> where I work, there's like a, a lot of like big old trees, and you know, one or two have been known to fall yeah. in the wind. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have green? No. Okay. Oops. That's nice, nice. <laughs> oh, my cards are falling. Okay. Do you have orange? Yes. Oh, okay, so then I'm going to... Okay, I will play this then. Orange on that. Okay. Do you have... Oh, sorry. There's a spell. Oh. Uh, so, Winifred is blocked. I already have a plan in my head here. <laughs> hey, we just drew a Winifred. Doesn't it take effect? Woohoo! Woo what up? Okay. okay. Do your plan. Do you have a blue? I do. Okay, so now, I don't know, would this... What's Does the, that count? I, it says... It doesn't matter which sister is stunned, you may... You do not have to stun each once. If you stun a witch, the round ends immediately. Okay. Uh, the rule here... If all, it says all five cards in the cauldron are the same color. Um, but tell you what, Michelle, do you have blue? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Because we won! Like, we got <laughs> ah! I also had that card! Yes, we did it. We did it. Folks, there it is. That is the game. Um, that is uh, Hocus Pocus from Robin's Burger. Thank you, GG. Well played. Thank you, Deadpan. Thank you, Slackfish. GameSpar says, I used to live somewhere that spring winds could get up to 80. Oh, my gosh. Never seen higher than that except tornadoes. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a hundred here, but uh, definitely at it's least fifty, right? Forty, fifty. Like we've had that when that strong winds before. Well, it's kind of scary. Is where like my desk is in my office. I can see out the that we have a window that faces the front of our house, mm -hmm. and one of like our trees was like really like I thought it was gonna snap. Yeah, because it was just the wind was so strong and blowing the the. The palm fronds yeah. all over the place. Yeah. I was like, God, I hope it doesn't come through this window. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, GP Gladers, welcome to OK. They don't even call it windy here until they are sustained. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. Um, we're getting face. Winner, winner, no children for dairy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's on uh, Disney Plus right now. I'm, I want to check it out. I also I started WandaVision last night, which was a trip. Um, real. I thought it was funny, but it, it's totally different than anything in the MCU. Did but you finish watching it? I finished the first episode. Yeah, it was basically like the Dick Van Dyke show, but with Marvel characters. <laughs> yeah, really interesting. I started watching the sec start of the second one, and it's like the start of Bewitched. Like the oh really? Yeah, I was like whoa, and but I, I fell asleep. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to start WandaVision tonight. Yeah, so I'm not going to talk about. It. I want to spoil, but uh, I'd be afraid uh, trees falling on the house. Yeah, totally. Right. 
Um, yeah, so we won the game, folks. I This game, I, I mean, it was tougher than I thought it would be. The whole, like, partial information thing. Yeah. You know? Because if we were just playing, like, like in pandemic, you know, you can play with your cards just face up. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes it easier. But trying to, you know, deduce what everyone else has. Be yeah. Sort of and just trying to figure out, like, are you doing the colors? Or are you yeah. doing the symbols? What do we, like, what is our goal? Yeah. You know, and you we, can't communicate that. Yeah, it's like we can't, I can't just say, hey, Michelle, let's go for colors. Yeah. Right? And then just that whole, like, deducing and trying to, like, or get the timing right. Yeah. Like, like, there was that, like, I know Slackfish said a couple times where you could play one card and that would set you up for the next one. Mm -hmm. So that's where, like, you know, I'm, like, thinking, okay, is Michelle trying to set herself up or can I go there with a card? So. Well, I had four of these. Oh, you did? I had four different colors. Of the oil of boil. Yeah. And that's your first question this round was, do you have oil of boil? And I did have, I think, one or two. Yeah. And so then, that was good. Very and then well played. The only one I didn't have was blue, and then I drew it eventually. Yeah, and I, I, I was sitting on that blue for a while because it, I, that's why I kept asking, is that purple or blue? Because I really wanted to slam a blue on there. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, needing to pivot several times in the middle of a round is tough, totally. Yeah. And without talking, that that's the thing. Uh, Did you have your, well, I had my plan in my head because I was like, I got four of these oil of boils. Uh, I, I can set them all down right now. <laughs> I'm like, don't mess me up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I hope you know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's it's a really fun game. I, I liked it, folks. Um, so what are we talking about? There's a gentle breeze in Oklahoma. Nice, Hornets. <laughs> See where you're going. Uh, friends, that is it. I want to thank you all for hanging out um, and joining us. Hey, hey. Brothers perfect Murph. time. The Brothers Murph is rated. Yay. Thank you, Brothers Murph. Um, I forgot what y'all were playing, but hey, this is the Rating Hat. Thank you. We are so happy to have you here. My name is Ruel Gabiola. This is my wife, Michelle. Oh, she's giving you a round of applause. Oh, there's a round of applause. <laughs> Got the Rating Hat on. Thank you for the Raid Brothers Murph. Much appreciated. Welcome, Raiders. We see Board Game Steph. Hi, Board Game Steph. Thanks for joining. Crystal Dax is in the house. Lots of hearts for Crystal Dax. <laughs> um, we were just... What is it that... Um... Bonsonator does with your emotes. Oh, Bonsa, yes, yeah, Bonsonator. Do she does. So this is like this is me, yeah, and then the and the heart. So you do this. And then Bruno, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the live emotes. <laughs> Thanks to Bonsonator. Uh, Barry's in the house. Hi, Barry. Uh, hey, Benny says hi to the brothers. Oh. Murph. Folks, you've not seen. If you have not seen Benny, this is Benny the Bits. Hello, friends. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. My name is Benny the Bits Bear. Remember, don't smoke. And oh. <laughs> oh, I Calm like down. massages. Calm down. Okay. I am fine. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you for saying hello. This is uh, Rolling with Ruel, also tabletop tonight. Uh, your friend Dakota, hi. Hello, your friend Dakota. I am Benny the Bits Bear. Anytime someone spends bits in the channel, such as our good friend Slackfish, I come out, make an appearance, and talk in my raspy yet sexy voice. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the Raid Brothers, Murph. Oh. But wait, <laughs> Slivers has spent 50 bits. Hello, Slivers. Thank you, Slivers, for spending bits. Friends, Ruel's wearing his rating hat. Michelle's got the round of applause. And oh. Oh, Teddy's um, crushes. Belly rubs, belly rubs. <laughs> Friends, thank you for joining. If this is your first time here, we do silly stuff like this, like the analog alerts, not the rating hat. It's 2021. Things are going to be great because tomorrow is January 20th. We don't really do politics on uh, our channel, but it's going to be the best day ever. Should make an American flag and put Seriously, it right here. Seriously, yes, we are. No, I should make this into you know red, white, and blue, twenty twenty one. Totally, yes. Rolling with rock, yes. Thank you, friend. Best day ever. <laughs> Friends, <coughs> we've got <coughs> the brothers Murph in the house. Crystal Dex, Ambi was here earlier. We've got Rolling with Rock. We've got Amanda Panda. Um, we've got all these great streamers. We are going to be doing. A 24 hours straight live stream on January 30th. That's Saturday at the end of this month. And it's going to be awesome. Please join us. It's part of the Tabletop Live Network. Uh, the Brothers Murph and I um, have been organizing events once a month here on Twitch. And we just want to showcase our favorite streamers. Um, so they're going to be there. We're all going to raid each other. It's just going to be one big raid, one big hype train. Speaking of hype trains, <laughs> where is that hype train? Did I lose it? Oh, it's back here. It was like it was right on top of your shelf. Yeah. Machine. So we're gonna bust up the hype train that day. Um, that's all. You get a little sneak peek. But the hype train is gonna be in full effect. We're gonna have so much fun. Please join us, uh, sweet. I did a 24-hour celebration for the new year. We, oh, 12 games. Nice forensic man. 
Awesome. Woohoo. 24 hours of stream. Yes, boarding um, home. Thank you. It's going to be off. Do the kids still say off the hook or off the chain? Or off, sure. Off the heezy sure. for shoes. I, I don't know. I, I don't. You youngins and your slang. Click and your click clock and all these new social mediums or whatever. I don't know. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be fun. Um, we have all the, um, if you don't follow. Uh, get off my lawn. Yeah, get off my lawn, Horan. Hey, that's uh, the Grinch that lives at the corner that's, here. Yeah, that's one of our neighbors. Key Pro has followed. Thank you, Key Pro 42. Again, we do analog alerts here. This is Felicia the Follow Fish. She shows up whenever there's a new follower. She hangs out, swims around, welcomes new followers, and then she takes off. And we all say, along with chat, Bye, bye Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Key Pro 42. Much appreciated. There's oh, all the bye Yeah, Felicia. Oh, for, shizzle. Oh, shizzle. Thank you, uh, Crystal uh, Dizzle. Um, <laughs> Deadpan, <laughs> deadpan's in the house. Your friend Dakota, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, we don't. I'm so excited. We are fired up for TLN, folks. <laughs> Get Top Live Network. We each have a two block hour time. We're going to stream then raid someone else. Uh, Michelle and I and Lauren, um, our daughter, will be streaming um, at 8 p.m. Pacific. The event starts at 12 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> 24 hours all the way around to the next day. Uh, what? It's not uh, crunk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Is it crunk? I don't know. I know clank. We play clank, but I don't know about crunk. That's a different game. Yeah. I'm going to take off my head. It's apparently affecting my, uh, my jokes here. But we've started 12 noon um, with the Luzas, Luza Palooza, and it goes all the way 24 hours around. We've got streamers from in Germany, the Netherlands, the UK, um, Australia, and here in the US, we've got West Coast representing, we've got East Coast representing. West Coast, Best Coast, but we love our, uh, all of them. Um, and I, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to figure out our, what game and or games we're going to play. Um, we're in the Discord. We, we're talking to everyone. We're lining up the schedule now. But the schedule is released. Uh, check out Dampletop Live Net uh, on Twitter uh, for the schedule and all the streamers. Uh, the games will be announced soon enough, hopefully next week. Uh, totally cosmic. This stream is radical. Oh my gosh, you guys. Neato. Neato. Radical. Oops. Noon to noon. Saturday to Sunday. That is correct. Noon to noon Pacific. Uh, Saturday to Sunday. Um, so when it gets to midnight out here on Saturday slash Sunday, that's when Ella in Australia is going to take over. She does two hours and then we have uh, Emma, the pointless parrot. She's awesome. She'll be 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. our time. That's you know prime time for them. And we also have uh, some friends in the UK and so forth. Um, Rolling Rock, I'm still trying to figure out what to play as well. Yeah, and, you know, we have a couple of days, and one thing that's cool, like, we're slowly but surely getting our, you know, the process down for this. Um, the first two, again, thanks to, like, people like Crystal and Ambi and um, the Loses and everything, I, we literally did those, like, a week ahead of time. And Paula Deming and Matthew Jude were like, hey, let's do something next week. It's like, ah, you know, and they're amazing. They're, you know, we all got it planned out. But now we're trying to set things up months in advance. Um, so a monthly event. So by the way, can you do this every month? <laughs> I'll make time. Thank you. I will make time. As Thank long you. as I know ahead of time, yeah. I can not plan anything. Yeah. And it's cool because we do do it on the Saturday. So hopefully, you know, people are available then. But are you excited for the event? I am. Um, I, this is number three. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, just from the time that you had first talked about it um, with the Brothers Murph and, yeah. you know, to now, I'm like, wow, it, just, it came to fruition and it just keeps growing. Yeah, the first event was 12 hours mm -hmm. and now we're at 24. Like, it, it's... I don't know, all you youngins can stay up on I know. <laughs> a nap. <laughs> we did, uh, we did uh, on New Year's Eve, we did the, the final shift. It was 10 p.m. Pacific till midnight and... We were tired. I was tired. I was like, man. And I, I was surprised Lauren was tired, too. Like, Lauren's our daughter, and I just figured she, she could go off all night, but she was like, she was tired, too. So. <laughs> uh, let's see. Board at Home. I would be interested in future if you'll be adding more channels into it. Board at Home, that was great to know. Please uh, whisper, or if you're on Twitter, uh, hit me up. I would love to talk to you, friends. Um, Hornus, uh, too uh, central to too central. Nice. That's my time zone. Yes, Grip Dog. Awesome. Uh, Silver Metal, yes, I'm very be honored. Yes, uh, Silver Metal, you know, we need to talk to you as well. I've got, um, we started a conversation on email. Can we continue that um, as far as your channel, Matt? Uh, let me see. Oops, sorry. Totally Cosmic, Nino. You know. I you love all Groovy. I, groovy. <laughs> okay, now we're getting way. Off the, off the hook right off, there. <laughs> off the chain. Uh, Griff Dog New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve was such a blast. Um, hey, 
friends, you know, I, I want to thank you all for the raid. Uh, we just played um, Hocus Pocus, Pocus, Pocus from Robinsburger. We barely beat it. We had, I think, it was like five or six. Yeah, we had six cards left before we lost. So that was close. Um, I may have sent a couple of little subliminal signals there with the... Uh, <clears throat> uh -huh, but. Well, you know, you should have just had a little drink to, you know... Throw that frog in your throat. Exactly, right? <laughs> so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Abby says, I'm sad I can't just watch Twitch all day for TL. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's, yeah, it, it's fun. Like, you know, I like to sort of hang out and, um, you know, watch all the other streams, but obviously I can't for 24 hours, you know, but. Back um, in the day, maybe, but. Yeah, yeah nowadays <laughs> I need my, my sleep, but it's still I cool. Need naps. Yeah, naps are, <laughs> naps are good. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're the best. Yeah. Even for the 18 hour, the last one for New Year's Eve, I know I took a nap, like, during, like, part of John's and part of Amanda's stream, I think. Um, just because I needed Because we were up, like, yeah. 6 a.m. to watch Ross's. You were, you were. Yeah. Well, just all the prep that goes into it, it, you know, to make it a successful stream, that that takes time. Yeah, it does. And that's, you know, that's the most precious thing, folks, is time. Uh, Hornets, yeah, my days staying up for, for 24 hours are long agreed. Yeah, that's right. Right there. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> it's funny. You just reach a certain age, like, you know, you... It's all about naps. Um, well, yeah, I remember, you know, back in the day, you could go out and, you know, go out and just, like, go hang out with your friends and mm -hmm. go party and stuff. And yeah. then, you know, you have, like, a 9 o'clock class and, you know, you're fine. Yeah. Now I'm like, Shh, I got a 9 o'clock class. I need to be in bed by 9. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so I can get up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember my friends and I, we should always joke, like, we'd be up, you know, all night, you know, hanging out and doing stuff. And it was like like six a.m. Like oh, we'll just you know a couple hours of sleep will be fine. And our whole saying back in the day is like oh, you want to go out tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I'm tired. Like oh, man, you could sleep when you're dead. Come on. <laughs> so of course we go out and yeah, and then but now I'm like naps, 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 or you know go to bed. Um, I just I just function better that way. I like sleep. I do too. I really we do. we are big time uh, sleep fans. Well, Rug, yeah, I'm really hoping. Uh, BG friends from around the world will keep us uh, early Sunday morning, folks. Company, our U.S. friends might be burnt out and sleeping in LOL. Yeah, <laughs> Rolling Road Rock has got the an uh, early shift for our time. It's six a.m. I believe um, on Sunday. But Rock, we or I am going to try to be up for that one. Um, so I, I'll probably sleep right after Ella's or, or during Ella's at midnight to to my time. I'll sleep by twelve thirty, hopefully, and. The thing is, too, you know, what's funny is, like, during these streams, I get amped because I'm so excited about everything. Yeah. It's and hard you to wanna, sleep. Like, and you want to catch at least a part of everybody. Yeah, yeah. Like, when it's live, you know, because that's the fun part. Like, I love, like, through each stream, I love seeing the hype train. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, it's just, I love seeing that hype train go off. And, you know, we were very fortunate. People came in ours, and we got the level five hype train. So, folks, I know he's probably asleep right now, but Ross, more games, please. He, um, he didn't get the hype train last time. He was very. He took one for the team last time by starting the event, and that's a tough thing to do is start the event. Mm -hmm. So kudos to him for doing it. We got the losers this time, but Ross is going to be the final stream this time. So friends, if you're watching or when you're watching Tabletop Live Network Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific, that's 12 uh, Central, one Eastern. Let's get Ross that hype level five hype train. Okay, Let, let's between us, just us and y'all in chat. We're going to get uh, Ross the level 5 hype train, please. Uh, I would love to see him. He deserves it. He's an awesome person, great for the community, does so much. And if you're not in his, his Discord, join his Discord. His Discord's awesome. Uh, actually, him and the brothers, they, all of y'all, man, all these people have such mm -hmm. amazing Discord communities. And I love all the crossover. A bunch of you have come over here and supported us, so thank you. Um, let's check out comments. Sound good. See you there. Yeah, it'd be great to support. Yeah, great. Ross does deserve it. Yes. Ross is awesome. He just he's so helpful and so supportive of all of us. So I like, like to sort of show the love back. So let's let's get Ross that hype train. Um, they were last. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nightbot. Let's uh, raid someone, folks. We're all done here. We're just hanging out, chatting. So thank you for your time. Uh, Psychus Ross may be the streamer that spends the most time in other people. Yeah, oh. that's that's for sure. He's always in other people's streams. He's. Just Can somebody, like, screenshot this and send that to him? We, we should. All we, the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I know on the VOD we can we can ah. do that as well. Um, or, yeah, so if someone <coughs> can clip it. I mean, just the, the comments. Uh, Ross deserves them. He, he's amazing. Uh, I know he's, uh, you know, he's done me favors. He's helped me as we uh, do the streaming thing. Have a great night, Rock. Thank you for uh, hanging out. 
friends, we're gonna shut things down here. It is, um, yeah, because well, we're talking about how much we like sleep. Um, <laughs> we will, we will get to bed soon. Um, I, I think I want to well, see. Already, I'm thinking uh, I have an eight thirty appointment. <laughs> got to get my workout in, i got to yeah. get a shower, i got to get my breakfast, so, yeah. you know, i got to plan we're, things. We're planning things. Um, one thing uh, before we get going, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific, I will be hanging out with uh, Tim from Meepleville Cafe over on the Meepleville Twitch and BGG front page. We're just going to talk about uh, board games and we've got some other topics going on, so please join me there. Also, 8 a.m. here, Pacific, I'm going to do another co-working stream. Just hang out, work together. Um, work on your thing, work on my thing, and then we're going to have music playing. I, I shut off my mic so you don't have to hear me, blah, 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 blah. Um, but every now and then, after 20 minutes or so, I take a quick break, check on chat, do that. It's a really productive way, at least for me, um, to get work done. Just having, you know, that accountability, I guess. Yeah, because right? you kind of feel like people are watching you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People know you're in the chat. Yep. So you better be doing something. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, thank you again, babe. Appreciate it. It's always fun playing games. Well, you know, you can pay me later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've got to pay her salary. Uh, uh, yeah, let's raid an eclectic camel. He's playing Wingspan, Oceana. Awesome. Yeah, we will raid. Thank you, Rock, for that. To live and die said, uh, good night. Off to another night of losing sleep. Against. <laughs> oh, the four. Oh, I can't believe it's, she's four months old. Uh, yeah, making the big streaming bucks. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Because, you know, making raiding hats just isn't paying the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, friends. Uh, to live and die in L.A. Um, have a great night of sleep. I... We wish you the best, you and your. We can't wait to meet your your little baby Laker slash daughter. The newest addition to your family. Yeah, the, the expansion <laughs> the to expansion, their family. Yes, yes. Uh, the Lakers and Dodgers won the championship in twenty twenty, folks. Uh, <laughs> until tomorrow, see y'all tomorrow. Have a great night, and we're gonna raid uh, right now. Bye, everyone. Bye.